Hello again everyone, how are you all? Hope everyone's well. Um, just a quick video for me today. Um, I was look, looking at YouTube um, and I've seen a few people do uh, video responses lately uh, and it's video responses to spelling your name with games. Um, I saw, um, was it Dave plays Retro Games Badly and uh, Retro Break do it. So, thought why not? You know, I've got a bit of time on my hands, an interesting way of going through my games and seeing what I've got and um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do as well, is I'm only going to pick games that I've got in my collection, which I think if you're going to do this video response, it's probably the best way to go, because it just makes it more interesting. Like, I, I struggled with O, and then I've got one, and then I thought, oh, I've found another game, oh, maybe that one's better, and, you know, it just makes you think about what games you do instead of just typing it in. So anyway, I've got my games, and obviously going for assignment, not sight, otherwise it'll be an even shorter video. Um, so yeah, I've tried to mix it up with different platforms, although I think two of them are from the same computer. So, let's get started. Oh, actually, before I start, I did forget about this. Uh, a few people have been asking me what these are at the back here. Um, and this one is uh, Grandstand Crazy Monsters. Um, just tabletop, um, I don't want to say LCD game, you know, arcade style game. Um, and I do love the artwork on that. This was saved from a skip uh, probably about 10 years ago. Um, so yeah, I got it back. It wasn't working. I just thought it looked really nice. Wasn't even collecting retro stuff at the time. Um, got it working and yeah, really nice fun game to play, that one. Nice to have in the collection. Um, prices of these ones are actually going up quite a bit, to be honest, if you're trying to find one. Um, and this one here is Frogger, as you can see on there, very well played Frogger, I do like the joystick on the Frogger game though, it's really quite responsive when you're playing it, um, obviously the artwork on the mark here as well, it's got a nasty crack in it this one, but I, I got it for a really good price so I wasn't too bothered about that, so yeah, that's, that's what lives up there, there is another one but I think it's fell down and you know me, <laughs> not the most organised. Right, anyway, getting on with the spelling your name with games. I've got my first pick here is a PlayStation 1 game called Skull Monkeys. And I absolutely love this game. I saw the gameplay footage of it about a year ago and I just had to go and find this game. Um, if you've never played it, it is done in claymation. Um, so everything's like stop and go, um, um, which it's got a really nice feeling to the game. It's... Uh, it's a sequel to Secret of Nevermore, I want to say, on the, or Evermore, something like that, on the PC, which that game there, if you're trying to find an original copy of it, goes, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but yeah, that one was set, again, Clay Mansion, but it was more of a point and click. So when you move, they moved the camera actually into the scenery and then moved it around, which is really good. But this is like a 2D platformer, um, but obviously feels 3D because it's Clay Mansion. And it's just a really, really solid game. Um, some good music on it. Um, if you die in this game, it's because you fucked up. <laughs> you know what I mean? The controls are solid on this. Um, and again, I've said the music. Uh, this is complete. This was actually a CEX purchase, and I got this. Do you know, I played the lottery. Um, and it's got the manual with it as well. I wasn't sure whether it was, because it, it wasn't a cheap game. But I thought I'd treat myself. Uh, I didn't go for the mint copy, I went for just a box copy, thinking, oh, please just have the manual. And I can see why it wasn't mint, because someone's actually cut out the cheat code for each level on the back and stuck it on the back of the manual. Which, to be honest, if you're going to have some kind of um, graffiti or whatever, something stuck to your manual, at least let it be something relevant to the game, which that is. Uh, also a nice little bit of history, so, and it's got its like electric arts... Um, warranty card kind of thing on the back so yeah that's s and that is skull monkeys love this game um i i was one that i i, I think i picked up indy 500 first for the um atari 2600 um but then i saw this one i thought i, I, I may have spoken about it before but i don't see many people talking about it uh, and that's i'm in shock on the uh, ZX Spectrum and I'm in shock is stunning because it's actually only a 16k game 
um, and it's like a classic arcade um, shooter where you're at the bottom and you've got to shoot the aliens at the top. But what makes this one a little bit different is you can't just shoot straight up. There's blocks in the way with like edges on. So you have to ricochet off this block, off that one and there to get them as they're moving. So it just adds an extra element to it. And so for a 16K game on the Spectrum, it plays very well. I mean, look at his face on the cover. <laughs> so, yeah, that's I'm in shock. But I... Um, next game is M, and it is an absolute classic on every system apart from the one I've got here. Um, and I'll explain why. And that's Micro Machines. Uh, I mean, I love Micro Machines. I mean, I think most people do. Really good multiplayer game. I, I've, I have such fond memories of playing Micro Machines with my mates and, you know, ramming them off the track and all stuff like that. The, the Mega Drive one had like the cart with the extra ports on the top so you can play four player or even when you played it on the Game Gear or the, um, I think in the Game Boy as well, that you could share the actual Game Boy itself and still race multiplayer. This has multiplayer. Uh, this has really stunning graphics and because it's a CD based system, really, really good music, you know, um, and that's fine. Until it goes one, two, three, go, and the frame rate drops to four frames a second. It like it drives round the track like this as you go, and for something that could have been so good, they completely fucked this up. They really did. Um, see, there's got some nice artwork on the back, and uh, CDI the manuals also the front cover. But I mean, look at the disc. I mean, that is absolutely stunning. But, frame rate. Why? <laughs> That's all I can say is why. It had all the recipe for an amazing game, and you just fucked it up. So that's M. Micro Machines on the CDI. A let down that was. Um, oh, uh, this is another one which I've... Took me a little while to find an O. Um, I mean, I did look for. Hang on, I'll dig it out here. In Outlaw on the uh, Atari 2600, but didn't have much to say about that game, so I decided. Um, Video Olympics now. I'm sure there was another Atari one. Anyway, um, but I've decided to go for a modern game, and that is Owlboy on the Switch. Um, really good indie game this, it's got a good following. Uh, if you've not played Elboy, it's kind of your Metroidvania style um, game with your, um, you know, your 8-bit graphics, you know, 8 or 16-bit, whatever, you know what I mean, the retro style. Um, you can tell it's made by people who really, really like their retro games in the past. Um, this also came out with a really good collector's edition. came in a massive box. I mean, I've never had the copy, so I don't exactly know what's in it. Um, but that just shows you how popular this game is. And so popular, I've actually bought it twice. <laughs> reason why I bought it twice is because I bought my wife a copy. We were in a couple of months. I said, oh, where's Owlboy gone? Give it a play. Couldn't find it anywhere. So I thought, oh, sod it. Right, I've just gone. I couldn't. I looked everywhere. couldn't find it. Uh, a month or so went by, I said, right, I'm just going to go see it, buy another coffee. Um, and a week after I, I uh, bought the other coffee, I found my original one. It had fallen like down and underneath some piece of furniture in my bedroom. Um, didn't really find it until I moved it. So, yeah, traded that on. Oh, boy. So good, I bought it twice. So that's my O. Oh. And last one, oh, I've got a lot of nostalgia with this one. Uh, you know, I've sold off all my box games, um, apart from a couple, and this is one that I could never let go. Granted, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing in the game. I've never got very far in the game, but I remember as a child, uh, we had a conservatory, and I remember picking this game out just because of the cover, loading up and looking at the cover as it was loading, and that's sort of like, it's still in my brain now. And that's Nightbreed, the action game by Ocean. Uh, it's just... It was the scarification of everything on the face and the, and the monsters and, you know, as a child, um, it just fascinated me. I mean, I, I don't even think I ever saw uh, the movie. So, yeah, that's... Uh, I know there was two Nightbreed games. 
Um, I'm sure one was a point and click, and this one is sort of like the action game. But as I said, I just don't know where I'm going in this game. I don't know what I've got to do. Um, fortunately, it's uh, missing the bag. Mission that ocean bag. <laughs> um, but yeah, really nice manual in that as well. I mean, as you can see, it, it's, it must have been about 10 and loading this game up. Um, really, really stuck in my mind. Um, Spectrum, Atari and Commodore. Double checking this. This is the Spectrum one. Made sure I saved the right one. Uh, so yeah, that's N, and that's Nightbreed by Ocean. So yeah, that's that's it. I'm going to end the video there. Um, so yeah, that's my spelling my name with games. Skull Monkeys in shock. I'm in shock. That's yeah, so I got the eye. Uh, Micro Machines on the CDI. Terrible game. Owl Boy. Amazing game. And Nightbreed just for the nostalgia. So, um, would you like to, to try this? Just try and spell your name with games. It'd be interesting to see what games you come up with because obviously everyone's name's different, everyone's collection's different, um, different preferences and stuff like that. So yeah, if you feel like doing it, give it a go. And uh, guys, thanks for watching this video and everyone stay safe. See you again soon.